Okay, so it's day two in Portsmouth. Um, so yeah, first thing is going to be doing laundry because we have a lot of laundry to do. We didn't realize that the last hotel had actual like laundry, like family laundry service and not just like dry cleaning. And the this hotel canceled their laundry like t today, it stopped today. So it's just bad timing in general with the Wi-Fi and the laundry. So we're gonna go to a laundromat or, I forgot what it's called here, laund laundrette or something. But yeah, we're gonna go do that. And then I think at 1300, we have tickets to go and check out the uh, Royal Historic Dockyards. I think I said that in the right order. But yeah, I'm gonna try and see if we can check out the HMS Victory. But I saw that it might be under some construction, so I'm not really too sure if we're allowed to go to that. And then there's the museum for the Royal Navy. And then there's like a few other cool ships. So I think we can go to three. I got tickets to see three attractions. So yeah, we're gonna see which ones we want to do. But yeah, that'll be after the laundry. Stressing about laundry is not a fun thing to do when you're on vacation. So we're gonna knock that out first so we can have some clean clothes. And then, yeah, and then we'll head out and do that. But yeah, we only brought like six sets of clothes because obviously if we brought like, you know, 14 sets of clothes, wouldn't really have a whole lot of room for anything else. So yeah, that's going to be our priority right now. There's plenty of Ubers at least. So we're just gonna go in Uber because it's like five minutes versus like 22 minutes for a bus ride. So it's fine. It's only like six, six quid or something. Yeah, that's Henry Hoover. Um, what do you think of him? Henry Hoover. Yeah. See his face? I just took a picture of one in the hallway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Great minds think alike. Fake sailor, dude. It's different. Hmm. My look at the cannon. Ooh, imagine if we were at war on a ship, just shooting at another ship with a cannon. That'd be hectic trying to reload it quickly. Bro, front part of the ship. Front part of the ship. What do you want me to say? <laughs> I don't have the book. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay. the bow. First ladder well. Huh? 
Hey, I gotta record them going down. You gotta turn around. You can do this, but I'd recommend you just turn around and go down like a ladder. Ooh, there's a seagull watching you. Oh, they're falling. <laughs> oh, I got you. I got you. Let go. Let go. <laughs> One last step, Stella. You got it. Good job. <gasps> the guns. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Here, Mala, look. Oh, that's so cool. Ooh, look, here's the cannonballs, Milo. No! Come on! Oh, Stella, Milo, look over here. This is where he would sleep. Whoa. Oh, here's the Milo. You can look over here. Just imagine, imagine laying in that while the ship is moving and you're swaying. Ooh, and some tea. Here. I, I, I just saw the Navy ship. Yeah, me too. Okay, you can try. So which one do you do? Do the, do the square now, because it's easy. You go, look, I'll, I'll, do, I'll teach you a quick way. Look, you go right over left, bring it around, and then you go left over right, and bring the left around, and there you go. I can't do it reverse, I have to do it looking down. I had to make sure I still knew how to do those. Of course I do, come on now. I went to a course and they kind of drilled that into our brains, so I don't think I'll ever forget those. Ooh, only three and there's probably like several hundred people wow. on here. This is pretty good privacy too. This is where they kept all of their personal possessions in uniforms. Ooh, that's cool. The old school sea bags. Navy uniforms never really change that much. See it? It's like this. It's like, ooh, this is a really warm area. Look at how much steel that is. That's crazy. Is that a real rat? No. It would be funny though if they had one living in here. Yeah. See how there's like those grooves that like twist? That puts like a spin on these rounds. Look, cause these are different. These aren't just normal cannonballs. They'll spin. So this is literally what Admiral Nelson was using to navigate for his entire career, at least until he lost his arm, I guess. <laughs> I guess it would be comfortable for a kid, huh?
This is, this is from the HMS Hood, which was sunk during World War II. Did he die? Um, it might be a uniform from somebody who did die. <laughs> kind of looks very similar to our Marine NCO sword inscriptions. Hi guys, so this is my Hold dad's so channel. You super, in. you super zoomed in yourself. Yep. Don't hit that switch or else it's gonna zoom in. Okay, so um, I'm gonna be showing you guys some pictures. You guys can see that. And then let's flip the page. Here and then next we have this page. Next we have this page. Yeah, so we have one more thing. What are we gonna show them? Oh yeah, we are going to show a ship. A massive ship. Yep, the lights turn on. Yeah, so that is like pretty much like it. So we have more stove. More more stove here. Put it on. I'll do SOS. figure out what that was. What do the shrimp sound like? Oh no! What do we do? Royal Marine Commando. You could be a seagull. There's a seagull one. There's a seagull one. Ooh, looks like the seagull just eat all the food. Mm -hmm. They did that, Molly. You're supposed to salute with your right hand here, like this. But this is a British salute, so you have to. Mm hmm. Right, Molly. Ready? That is a horrible salute, too. What's going on here? Yeah. All right, put your hands up. <laughs> yep. And then you gotta go like this, Molly. Like this. Like this. This to this. Mm hmm. And then. Leave one arm out and go like this. <laughs> You're doing okay, good. Okay, go like this. Ooh, go like this. Catch. Arms out. Go like this. Emergency stop. And then like this. Can I try it? My love, like this is engine stop. Let me take a picture of you in the beret. Looking very operator. Okay. <laughs> 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 He's still wearing, yeah, you can't really be a commando when you're like that high viz. All right, here. There you go. Turn left. <laughs> Marine and sailor react to Royal Navy recruitment advert. But I think the workout will be still the same. The demand will be greater. I think it might go geeky. Leave a comment if you're stationed on one of these ships. Ooh, I see some sailors. Nope. <laughs> How do they build something this freaking massive? It's crazy.
I don't even know like the, how do you start the process of getting this thing freaking stuck here? I guess standard dry dock. This is Hi guys, anyone been up this tower before? No. no. First time? Well, welcome to the Spinnaker. I'll take you up to view deck level one, which is our main deck. It's 100 meters above sea level, and it will take us 28 seconds. At the moment, we're going up in one of the legs at four meters every second. Once we get to view deck one, there's some fantastic views over the city, Isle of Wight and beyond. At the far side of the hall, we've got some doors. Next level up is the cafe, and above the cafe, we've got the open sky garden. On this level where you're going to get out, we've got a glass floor, so if you're feeling adventurous, please take your shoes off. You can run across, jump up and down, and do cartwheels, and that's just the parents. Yeah. There we are. Enjoy. Thank Thanks. you. Whoa. Thanks. Yeah, I got you. Come on. Okay, here you go. I got you. Oh, it's yeah, too hard to do a See, it's just normal floor. It's too hard to do a It's too hard to do a handstand here. Wow. Yeah, it's too hard to do a handstand. Yep, you got him, man. Go. Two of your buttons. Guys, I'm going to wear my glasses. Ready? Okay, go for it. It's the hovercraft. That's what we're taking tomorrow. You see it with all the wind? Yeah. You see it cruising yeah. super fast? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look, over here there's the beach. Okay, so we are back in the hotel. Uh, pretty productive day. So yeah, we started off, with, <laughs> we did some laundry. That took about an hour. Still pretty fast, faster than I thought. Um, but yeah, it was pretty convenient. The laundromats or the launder launderettes here are pretty convenient. Um, so we did that. We got some lunch and then we went back to the hotel for a little bit and then we went out and sort of went to like the, all, the, all the sites and stuff. So we went to the Royal historic dockyards and that was pretty cool it's just kind of cool being by the water i always kind of appreciate that one because i just like being by the water but also like the seagulls and stuff it's just a cool ambiance and there's a lot of people walking around pretty nice like boardwalk there but yeah we went to the uh we went to the museum of the royal navy we went to the hms warrior and then also the hms victory and kind of also walked around a few other little areas but yeah it was Pretty cool. I think the kids had fun with those sort of museums and, and sites more than some of the other ones. I know like the ladder wells were particularly kind of fun for myself and my wife Jazz to kind of watch the kids doing it because she, I mean my wife especially is very comfortable with the ladder wells and I'm also kind of, you know, familiar at least comfortable with them to a point to where you can kind of just walk down a certain way. But yeah, with the, the kids, <laughs> not so much. It was kind of daunting at first. But yeah, that was fun, and then we went, we got some food, which is 
pretty good. A little expensive. I kind of understand this area is going to be a little bit more expensive anyway. And then we went to the Spinnaker Tower, which had some great views. The weather turned out pretty good. Like, it cleared out pretty well. So, like, there was a little bit of sun. You could see pretty far. It wasn't, like, overcast or anything, which was, yeah, it was dope. You can see the Isle of Wight, which we're trying to go to tomorrow which should be fun so right now the plan for tomorrow so the last full day over here in, in portsmouth is going to be going to the isle of wight so we got tickets for like the hovercraft which is going to be pretty cool i think it's like one of the last few if not the last like touristy kind of public transportation hovercrafts you can go on i guess that's what you'd call it but i mean i've been around in lcax you know enough so it's kind of cool to see it like that but to get the ride on, on one of them is going to be kind of neat. So yeah, we're going to be taking that to the Isle of Wight. It's going to be like 11 is when we're departing. And then 1500 we're getting back. So we're only going to be over there for like a few hours. Which should be pretty good. We won't be able to go like to the, the west side of the Isle of Wight. Where they have like all that cool park and, and activities and stuff. But we'll be able to at least check like the beach and some of the sites. Which would be kind of nice. But yeah, uh, pretty good day. Really nothing... Nothing really threw a wrench in our plans, I guess. Um, the laundry, it is what it is. You kind of just have to deal with that. But yeah, we're going to be doing that tomorrow. I don't know what else we're going to be doing besides the Isle of Wight. And then off to Bristol for a few days, which would be pretty cool. What do you think, Stella? What was your favorite part? Mm. Of what? Yeah. The museums, the ships, the tower. The museums. What part? The... Part where we got to draw and we got to um, like make postcards and like the mm. playing area and the speech thing that was really loud. Yeah, we didn't realize how loud it was. There was like an audio kind of guide for some of the one of the displays. It was like stupid loud. Daddy, can I tell them <laughs> what? What I want to say? Yeah, sure. We finally have internet. Oh yeah, that is true. Of course. Yeah, as you can see with the uh, Milo back there <laughs> <laughs> consuming his tablet. Yeah, uh, I don't know, the internet just started working today, um, so that's nice. I'm gonna catch up on some homework and also upload a few videos so I'm not missing any uploads, but yeah, good day. Yeah, I'm gonna make this video. And good day. You see the seagulls? Why good me? Yeah, probably. You see those seagulls? Oh, <gasps> bro, right there, right there. What? Right there. Bro, there's seagull. You see it? Oh, the little baba. Ooh. I'll take a picture for you, Stella. 